less than a week away now from the Music City Grand Prix, and you can already see big changes downtown. Last year, the inaugural event drew more than 100,000 people. News Channel 5's Amelia Young is out near Nissan Stadium this morning along the race course. So what sorts of changes will, be, will, will we be seeing in the coming days, Amelia? Hey, good morning, Jennifer. Well, as you can see behind me, these concrete barriers that we became all too familiar with last year are back up here on Korean Vets Bridge. That's a part of the racetrack. And then, of course, we've got all of the grandstands back up along this road as well. Crews have been working it for the past several weeks to get all of this up, and they still have a lot more to go for the start of the Grand Prix on Thursday. Now, drivers, just make sure you're keeping in mind all the road closures that are going to be starting because of this, many of them starting tomorrow around here at Nissan Stadium where the main horse course hub is here for the Grand Prix and only build from there in the coming days. This year's race kicks off on Thursday with Fan Fest on Broadway. Fans will be able to see cars on display, sponsor displays, stadium super trucks performing, and much more. Those smaller races are going to be happening Friday and Saturday, all leading up to the big Grand Prix on Sunday. Remember, it made history last year as drivers crossed the Cumberland River on the Korean Vets Bridge, and it's going to do the same this year with some minor tweaks like widening some of those corners. Now, of course, we can't have a big event in Music City without music. Tim McGraw is going to be headlining a show Saturday night, and Brantley Gilbert and Carly Pierce are going to be headlining on Sunday. Now, of course, again, those road closures, just keep in mind if you've got anywhere to go downtown over the next several days starting tomorrow, just have some extra time planted in there in your schedule to get where you're going because those are going to be abrupt and come in the next couple of days over the course of time. And then also on our website this morning, we've got ways for you to snag some tickets if you want to go next weekend. Jennifer. Amelia, thank you.